about a game. It's a red skin. What is going on, peeps? What is going on? It's Valerie's Naturals Oracles. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are. How are you doing? Do you know what? I thought today I'm going to do a divine partner checkup or oh, a soul tie, whatever you want to call it. A soul tie, whatever. Soul tie, twin flame, soul mate, divine counterpart, whatever you want to call it. And I thought today... I'm going to do a check out what's going on with them, what's going on with you. So we're going to have two piles. So let's get some cards out. And if you're new here, please subscribe. Hit the alert bell so you know when I'm going to do another video. And welcome, I should have said. Welcome to the What I Want Soul Tribe. Anyway, let's get some cards out. I'm going to get two cards out. One for yourself or one for your person. What's going on with you at the moment? Let's see what's going on with you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Oh, I call on your divine guidance that loves the, con the collective unconditionally. Please give us an accurate, concise reading for our eyes. Good. And you know, I don't take dropouts, but I've got marriage here. What is that all about? You know, I don't take dropouts. Oh, Holy Spirit, because my spirit guides against that. And when I flick the cards like this, it will give us the message. So I thought I'd use these. The Kipper, my friend, the Kipper. And we're going to get one card out for you. We're not going to look. And one card out for your person to see exactly what's going on here. So what's going on with you, first of all? Let's have a look. Oh, you're going to be coming into great fortune. Is this what it is? I mean, great fortune doesn't have to be money per se it could be that you're leveling up you could be shining you could be creating that business doing your your investments are coming in whatever this is what you're dealing with right now the great fortune for me this is like the um destiny card this is like the wheel of fortune for me it's almost like you're moving forward into bigger greater and better things but what's going on with your counterpart let's find out <gasps> marriage has come out again <laughs> Has your counterpart got married to somebody? Is your counterpart in a contract? Because the marriage card is not only about marriage and commitments. It's about contracts. It's about um, agreements. It's about all the good things. So I don't know. Is, has somebody got marriage on their mind? We're going to have to figure out and see what's going on. So let's get some cards out. What is this great fortune about, Spirit? Please give us the message. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, what is this great fortune about? Now, I know, talking to some of my Patreon collective, that they're doing big things, big things is going in, and like, you know, their futures are looking a lot brighter. And I know that is kind of like, you know, what's going down? I myself have gone into something that is just like, what the hell? <laughs> I thought, how did I get here <laughs> from where I was? But it's called leveling up. It's called going to a different level. It's going It's going to a higher frequency, isn't it, people? So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Why is the great fortune here? And number 26 might be significant to you. Why is the great fortune here? Please give us the message. Thank you. Please give us the message. Why is this here? The Ten of Swords. I got that this morning in my daily tea. The Four of Cups. Oh, this is telling the story already. I'm going to tell you what it is. The chariot. Are you moving on? Oh, Three of Cups. Oh, my good. You can't make this up. Queen of Pentacles by rejecting. Oh, King of Wands in the feminine energy. Okay. Here's what we got here. The Great Fortune is here because I'm going to tell you what. Somebody really did stress you out at one point. Somebody stressed you out at one point and you decided to walk away from that. This is what I'm seeing. You moved on. You moved on because what they did was they had either interference or some third party situation going on. I'm not going to go deep on that. I, you know, if I do an extended, I might just do that. But for now, it's an interference. OK, by rejecting somebody or something or a situation, you bossed up. You become this queen of pentacles. You are the boss bitch, the boss man. Do you know what I mean? And it's by doing this, you've become a leader in your own right. You've moved forward and moved onwards and moved upward. Moving on up. <laughs> and 
by doing this, you've just become this person who is charismatic, who's a leader in their own role, who's forward thinking, who's somebody that is passionate about what they do, regardless of what it is that you do. But what was your stress to begin with? Because the very first card is the Ten of Pentacles, betrayal. Did you feel like a victim after somebody did what they did to you? Or is it just natural betrayal that happened? You'd have to let me know, people. But what I'm seeing here is you becoming the person that you should have been in the first place, that somebody should have seen in the first place. Because it's almost like somebody did you wrong because they didn't see your value, they didn't see your worth. But they're seeing it now. They're seeing it now. Anyway, let's find out what's going on with your counterpart. Now, in the meantime, your counterpart could have been married and they didn't tell you that as one of the betrayals. It could be that they are in a commitment, you know, but what is this marriage card all about? It's the number three. That's an, that's an eternal number. That just keeps going. If you was to divide three, three, three point, three, three point, three, three, it would just keep dividing into itself. Three, 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 three. It's an, it's an infinity and beyond. So we're going to shove this to one side for the minute and see where we go with this one. Why is this marriage card here, spirit? Please tell us. And this is for your counterpart. So this is you. Moving on up. Moving on out. And yeah, sometimes you do go through distress here. But you've bossed up and you've got far too much going for you to be wallowing in self-pity. This is what I'm getting. A lot of you are just not wallowing in this self-pity like this, these people wanted you to do. Do you know what I mean? Wanted you to be the victim, wanting to feel victimised. Do you know what I mean? Look, Seven of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Somebody deceived them on self. This person deceived their self when they thought they got into this marriage, maybe. I don't know. So let's figure out this commitment, this contract, whatever it is. Let's figure it out. So why is this marriage card here for your counterpart, Three of Swords? Wow. Why is this here, Spirit? Please tell me. Ace of Cups. Ooh, Three of Swords, Ace of Cups. Five of Wands, Conflict. And then we've got the Page of Cups in Reverse. Wow. Six of Swords going to Karma Waters. One more. Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. So let me just sort that out properly. So that was there, that was there, that was there, that was there. Okay, so let's shove this to one side for the minute. So let's have a look at this. So this marriage card is here. Now, is it possible that when you walked away, this person was heartbroken, but they hid it really well? Can you see these cards, people? I'm going to shove them over so you can see them. We've got the Three of Swords, somebody who's saddened, somebody who, do you know what? Again, this is like somebody could have been, do you know what it is as well? This person was saddened by a past situation. Here's the story I'm getting for some reason I'm getting. This person was um, heartbroken by a past situation and they took it out on you. They took out that past situation out on you. Okay. And because they took that past situation out on you, whatever it was, this is not for everybody. There's two stories I'm seeing here. By doing that, they, they just thought, uh, I'm not going there. I'm going to take my cup elsewhere. It's like the, fight, the page of swords in reverse is somebody who is not offering up their cup, who is just being imbalanced, who was being blindsided by what they were doing. They were blindsided by what they were doing. Let me tell you, so they offered their cup somewhere else thinking they would go to Karma Waters, but it was nothing but conflict. What I'm getting here is nothing but conflict. You see the chess pieces? Somebody, do you know, they thought they was being smart by doing what they were doing. They were, thought they were being smart by doing what they were doing. When they let you down, when they when you had to turn your back on this person, they offered their cup elsewhere. And could even have gotten into marriages. They could have gotten into commitments, long-term commitments. They could have got themselves stuck in these commitments. And now it's nothing but conflict for them. So they want to move forward to you now. They want to move forward to you. But do you want this? This is ridiculous, isn't it, people? I don't know. But when you look at this, this person entered into a commitment, some kind of commitment, okay? They entered into some kind of commitment because they thought they were doing the right thing. And what I'm getting here is, is A, they were saddened that you turned your back, but they never had the conversation, okay? 
they decided they weren't saying sorry. They weren't giving this emotional commitment to you. They was offering it somewhere else. They offered it somewhere else, thinking that they would go to karma wars with themselves, thinking that they would did the right thing, thinking that they did this. But in, in, in the end, it was just nothing but conflict. What they, what they ended up with was just conflict. That's what they ended up with. I want that one, peeps, want that one. So you moved on. And you're probably creating your fortune right now. You're creating your fortunes. You're creating your destiny. You're creating what you want to create. And you're doing it. You turned your pain into power. Whereas this person is just beginning that journey. It's almost like they realized what went on. Why did they make this commitment? Why did they make this commitment in the first place? Why did they do that? The second thing I'm seeing is, is that they know they broke your heart. They know they broke your heart. And they're refusing to take accountability. They're refusing to take accountability. For some reason, they're refusing to say they thought it was better to break your heart. And they could have been breaking your heart for, 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 for other reasons. Like, you know, many reasons, like they wanted revenge from you. They their representative turned up and it wasn't who they thought it was. They didn't see your worth. So they decided that they said by doing what they were doing and by rejecting you and go forward to somebody else and giving somebody else a commitment. They thought they was going to karma waters. They thought that they, they found the one. They thought the grass was greener. But in fact, all it was was conflict. And the games they played with you, they got back tenfold. And now this person slowly wants to come forward to you. The Knight of Pentacles. But what's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, they see who the your ultimate, who the ultimate, <laughs> the ultimate happiness is. And look, the eight of wands. They want to communicate with you. But did you make a judgment? Did you make a judgment? Now this is a, almost like when I go to the bottom of the deck is future energies, and it's almost like it's telling the story of both of you now. Because what I'm getting here is is like somebody sees who their happiness is now. They want to communicate, but are you making a judgment as the high priestess? Because they ultimately want to be the emperor in your life. But do you notice in this one, the emperor is holding onto strings. It's like a puppet on a string, isn't it? Are they still in that mindset? Somebody's definitely at a crossroads. Because they're seeing the deception. They're seeing the deception they actually cause now. And look, they want to take that leap of faith towards you. Are they manifesting this though? They're manifesting this. But in the meantime, again, somebody is watching because they see it's come full circle. They see you in your your wheel of fortune. See what I mean? The wheel of fortune. They see you bossing up. They've been watching you this whole time bossing up. And they know they look. They've got the key. Have you got the lock? Do you see what I mean? This person sees the wheel of fortune as you moving forward like great fortune, wheel of fortune. It's the same thing to me. Do you know, you've moved forward and you're actually creating your abundance, whatever that abundance looks like, monetary, spiritually, emotionally, physically, whatever. But you're creating it and it's two cards of the same thing. Wow. And, and this card in particular has got me. This card in particular has got me. Did this person really do this deliberately to you? Or is this this person? In, it could be both. They did this to you deliberately, but now they've realised that they've broken their own heart because you're divine counterparts. If you break one heart, you're going to break the other heart, isn't it? You're going to mirror each other. Wow. You'd have to let me know what you think of this, people, because this is currently... You are just going about your business and focusing on you, focusing on your health, wealth, your evolution. Whereas this person's got themselves stuck in a situation they want to get out of now. They realise what their happiness is and they want to communicate it, but all they can think about and what's probably bothering them more than anything else is the actual deception they caused and the lies they told and the things they didn't tell. By covering up and tell, not telling is still a lie. Do you know what I mean? Because you're deceiving somebody. You're going against somebody's free will by not telling them the truth. Because if you'd have told them the truth, that person would have had an option and then they could have gone through their free will. But by not telling the truth or not saying what it is at all and by covering up certain things. Like, for example, this person could behave like they're single, but they're in fact married and they're 
making you believe that they're single, but they're not telling you that they're married. You get what I'm going? You get what I'm going with this, people? So you decide what you're going to do with this situation. But I just think, you know, I, you know, ordinarily I would have done a an extension, but I'm not going to today. But what I'm seeing here is, is um, you are just thinking about your future, whereas this person has got stuck in is thinking about moving towards you. But they don't know how to because of the deception and lies they cause. Look. Do you see what I mean? The Seven of Swords is here. Somebody's confused. Somebody's confused because, in fact, they do actually love you. They do actually want to be with you. They do want to offer this cup. They do want this new beginning with you. Do you know what I mean? Because they see you as a King of Pentacles. This is the King of Pentacles in the feminine energy. These cards have got two kings, the feminine and masculine energy. They see you in this energy. So I don't know where you want to take this, people. I don't know. But this person is seeing you for you're seeing your worth now. Whereas I didn't say it before. You make of it what you will. You let me know what you think, people. Is this you in the making? Is this you? Take care till next time and don't forget to subscribe, hit the alert bell so you know when I'm gonna do another video. And most of all, if you want to join the Water Sword, the Water Guan Sword tribe, there's extra content over there. All right, so till next time, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>